Thanks for coming back. Today we review Arthur Christmas from 2011 for this week's Harry Movie Club, as always curated by Mr. Harry Britt. Arthur Christmas tells the story of Santa's clumsy uh, youngest son, Arthur, who is trying to make sure that every single child gets their present. There's the brother, Steve, who looks like he is next in line to be Santa. He is really in charge of operating all of the Christmas mission. I really did like how they explained it in this movie about Santa and the possibility of going around the earth and getting every child their present before dawn. Um, the effects were really good and it kind of the S1 resembled a bit of the Enterprise I'd say from Star Trek. I found the movie at points to be sad because Steve who looks like is next in line for Santa and a shoe in to be the next Santa once the current Santa retires uh, doesn't seem to actually care that he missed the one child because of the marginal percent error that was there and it's so slight and it was the most efficient Christmas they've ever had and it's just kinda of like he doesn't care at all I really hope he doesn't become Santa Arthur of course is the one that cares and has to set out to make sure that the one child Gwen gets the bicycle that she has wanted the movie is kinda of predictable at the beginning they set it up where Arthur is reading the letter from Gwen and it has the very specific thing and it's a whole letter about how Santa's not real because she's been told that by her peers and she still believes so Arthur definitely doesn't want to let her down specifically and of course she's the one that got missed the voice acting in this I actually didn't recognize the voices but when looking it says that James McAvoy as Arthur Hugh Laurie as Steve didn't know that Bill Nye as Grand Santa Grand Santa I really did like he was kind of just the typical old, back in my day, we didn't have all this fancy things. And they show uh, back in his day how they used to communicate with the sleigh. And it was kind of neat that way. The effects in this are really good. It's from 2011, so you would still hope it holds up. And I thought it looked really polished. It at times looked like it would be like a photograph or if you looked over a city. Uh, there are obviously times you see it's animated, but it's done very well. Keep or delete for Arthur Santa. I'd say it is a keep for a Christmas film, uh, especially if you have young children. Don't know you'd want to watch any other time than Christmas, but Christmas films are usually only meant for this time, so it is a keep. Thanks for watching. Today we review 49 Arthur Christmas from 2011. As mentioned, it is for Harry Movie Club. Annotation above, like always. Click on that. It takes you to the playlist with the submissions from everyone else that enters for Harry Movie Club. Once again, thanks for watching. If you feel like reaching me, comment below. Do so on Twitter at MadLFan. Use hashtag TodayWeReview. Thanks for coming back. See you soon.